11. If I ask you bitches who did 9 11, you're going to say Osama bin Laden. You have no fucking idea what the fuck is going on. And that's what I'm telling you, niggas, man. If you do not start filtering out the trash, you're going to end up with roaches in your house. You understand? If you do not start putting up some type of filtering system to find out whether this bitch is a fucking liability or some uh, like or, or a what's what's the difference between a li liability? It's the opposite. What's the antonym for liability? Bitch, you either gonna help me or you gonna hurt me. I had to get off his ass. I had to get off my ass. I had to get to the cash. I had to stick to the plan. I had to quit taking Xanax. I had to quit popping Percocets. I had to get off the codeine. I had to quit the promethazine. I had to do it myself. I had to do it no hell. I had to get to the sandwich. $10,000 cash. All $100 bills. And I want to invite you to a free training that shows you how I went from $10 an hour to $10,000 a month with my online business. Text CASH to 301-273-1238. I'll see you on the inside. Welcome back to the Big Fat Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 movement. If you have not signed the Men 2 petition, fuck you, bitch. We out this bitch trying to fight, trying to get equal rights, and you motherfuckers ain't doing shit to help. But also remember, do not donate to that uh, to that petition on change.org. You sign a petition on change.org, leave a com comment and shit like that, but do not donate. If you want to donate, you do it at the PayPal that's in the description box and shit like that. You don't do it on... Uh, um, that motherfucker leaning like a bitch. Uh, you do it on, don't do it on chain.org. Uh, and this is, are you fucking serious? Um, shout out to my man Ace Boogie for, uh, bringing this story to my attention. I really, I didn't give a fuck about this shit. But, uh, after seeing this shit, I see the injustice inside of it. Um, also, if you have not, uh, subscribed to the Men 2 Podcast, it's a brand new, uh, YouTube channel I have where we're gonna be doing all the Men 2 shit. All the stories that have to do with men too will be there. I can't do every every channel has its own shit. I'm not going. The Big Facts podcast is for Big Facts podcast shit. Stupid rappers channel is for stupid rapper shit. The rap trap is for rap trap shit, and the men too podcast is for men too shit. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you subscribe to all the channels so you don't miss shit. This is just the you know what I'm saying. One of the channels. Um, so go subscribe to the, uh, Me and Two Podcast, um, I'm gonna try to have y'all a snippet of the last video on the Me and Two Podcast and shit like that I did about Felicia from Friday, just some thoughts out of my mind. Alright, let's get into this, um, just hilarious shit. What I, I'm gonna tell you what I was gonna say, I was gonna say female comedians are not funny, but I should say female comedians aren't they they don't do stand up well. There, um, I can't name one good female stand up comedian. But as far as you know, you know shit on Instagram and shit like that. I guess that shit be funny. You know what I'm saying? She's witty on Instagram and shit like that. But um, other than that, it ain't that shit ain't funny. Um, it's just not funny. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. I'm not a picket sign type nigga, but come August, it's going down, dog. Um, if you want to be part of the Men 2 movement and the Men 2 movement group that goes to D.C. in August, you have to be part of the Men Too movement, meaning that you sign the Men Too petition on change.org, that you have your Men Too shirt, and you've been personally vetted by me. Nobody will know the time that we're going to meet up and all that shit like that. I'm going to say all that shit behind the scenes, so you have to come through me. If you're trying to get in touch with me, there's been a lot of bullshit going around there, a lot of Ayo Canseco accounts on Facebook, um, 
So this is the AO Conseco account that you're supposed to go to. This is the thumbnail. This is the Tobin Frost account. And this is the Instagram account. So there's no more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck up, no more mix up. Um, to get your men two shirts, you go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Uh, the men two shirts are $20. Every other shirt is 15. All headwear is 10. This shirt is not available yet. It won't be available till the end of March. And only AO Nation members will be able to purchase it, meaning that you've already purchased, you know what I'm saying, your whatever shirt. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, we look at your PayPal. If you ain't bought nothing yet, you can't get the shirt. I don't want everybody to have my face on them. Um, of course, you know, for all the new folks, the PayPal that you buy your merchandise from is not the PayPal that you donate to. That PayPal is on the screen at least three times an episode. It's paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. This is the PayPal that you donate to if you want your um, PayPal note read during uh, the AO Nation donation conversation that we have every third Sunday. Um, you can also donate to the Cash App and the Venmo. All that shit's in the description box. Listen. For all of you new business people and shit like that, do not send nothing to my inbox. Like, you a rapper, you a clothing line, don't tag me. Dog, don't say my name unless you're ready to do business. I'm extremely fucking busy. If you got a story over here and all that shit like that, but don't bring me to your brand if you're not ready to do business. I'm too busy, dog. period, point blank. No disrespect, but this is how this shit go on this end. Prices start at $200, they go up to $2,000, all good. Also, listen, this is not my only channel. The Big Face Podcast is the first channel, The Rap Trap is the second channel, and Stupid Rappers is the third channel. All those channels got different fucking content. The videos that go on one channel don't go on the other one, usually. All of them have their own fucking content, so if you're not subscribed, Please learn how to work YouTube and subscribe and hit the notification bell on all channels. Get your shit together, big homie. What do we want? Help. There are very good female actresses, uh, but as far as comedy, comedy is too real. And if I have to see a girl in that manner, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of fucks up the whole imagery of the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to see a... It's, it's certain places where you don't want to see women. It's just what it is. Um, just doesn't work. Um, but I, what I want to point out here is... First thing... First off, what I, the first thing I should say is... This bitch is stupid as fuck. Anybody who believes that Arab people had anything to do with playing... Is just... It, it's that That right there... Let's me know I don't need to have any, I don't need to speak to you at all. What you should have been doing, if you were scared, is getting all the white people off the plane. You know what I'm saying? If, if we're going by race, if we're going by race and we're scared of a plane, you should be getting the white people. Not only did the white boy do all that shit in New Zealand and all this crazy shit right here, but 9-11 and the worst terrorist attacks to date have been from this race of people, not that race of people. So you showed your ignorance with that shit right there. We're going to talk about that for the majority of the video. But secondly, I want to point out um, this this pity privilege, this pity power privilege. Uh, I said this in a video on the Men 2 uh, podcast. I said it on my Facebook and my Instagram. Um... If your power is pitied, then you're powerless. Uh, a woman can cry, and that's power, because everybody will run to her defense. Um, um, a woman can run up in a dude's face like, you fucking faggot, as we just saw, as we just saw this um, this teacher in whatever store they were at, um, and she spit, with, she was with her two white children, and she spit, I don't know why it was important to say two white children, uh, but she spit on the black man in the store like, you motherfucker. And she spit on the motherfucker. But her power hit me, hit me, yeah, hit me. Her power was that she knew that me being a white woman with two white children, if you hit me, then you're going, like, I'm going to 
you're going to super jail. That's what she knows that people will pity her. They're going to pity her in court. You're going to get in. And, and she knows that he knows that. You know what I'm saying? As I said before, they won't do that to a crazy person because they know a crazy person has no understanding of the law. You know what I'm saying? So they have to make sure that you understand the uh, consequences of fucking over a woman, let alone a white woman. You know what I'm saying? So once you know that, now they're powerful because you have you know what the fuck is gonna happen after you do that. So that power is pity. But that's what I'm saying. Like, so you truly have no power. If there was no law, if we were in the wild, you would be powerless. You know what I'm saying? What protects you is my knowing, my awareness of the law and the, the boundaries and shit like that. What's the consequences of my actions? But you truly have no fucking power because your power wouldn't come until after. Really, if I wanted to kill you, I can kill you. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're powerless. You, you, you're, you're really just standing on the fact that I'm so scared of what's going to happen to me in court that I won't do nothing to you right now. So you rely on that shit so much that you'll put your physical self and your physical health and your children's physical health in danger because you're betting that I know better. You know what I'm saying? And I, I find that that's, that's really what our issue is. Um, truly is what our issue is. Don't tell me to hit you. I wish you would hit me. And then as soon as I hit you, you're going to jail. That, that, that annoys me so fucking bad. You're not saying that because you're going to do something to me. You're saying that because you know that I know. So in this situation, um, just hilarious cries, sn snuffles up a little bit, and automatically there's all pity. But if a man, or not even a black man, if a man, period, would have had this done and would have been bragging about getting it done and laughing about it, everything would be over. That's For a black man, that's all they would need to destroy everything. But even for a white man, that's, that's you're obviously a fucking racist. And now we can't do anything with you. Doesn't matter what kind of fucking, you know what I'm saying, apology you give. Like, you're a known racist at this point. But with it's sniffle, sniffle, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know. I'm going to donate 15000 And that 15000 is nothing because what you got was a call from these shows that you're a part of letting you know that you're about to get the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, the axe. You're about to get the Bill Cosby treatment, the R. Kelly treatment. You're about to go back to Baltimore, Baltimore. You're headed back. You're like, you'll never work in this town again. If you don't clean this shit up, that's what you're crying about. You're on your way back to Baltimore, Maryland. You're on your way back. That's what you're sad about. You can tell if someone's apologetic. When they do something, I was just sitting a video of a of a um, a fight where five dudes try to jump one dude in Chicago, and the one dude you like that they were trying to jump and shit like that. He was he was swinging on him, but he was trying to walk away. Like he really wasn't trying to do that for real. You can tell that he was even like that's not really what he wanted to do. If if when she was when she was, I give a fuck if she was actually getting these people off the plane. For you to go on this motherfucker and say, fuck y'all, I'm scared. That shit just, you, bitch, what did, what do you need to know? What, you didn't know what? I didn't know that. That's extremely fucking retarded. I didn't, oh, uh, yeah, I know what it's like to be fucking racially profiled. I'm a black woman. What the fuck? If you're racially profiled, if a black woman is racially profiled, she's racially profiled to get benefits, not to be harmed for benefits. The black man is the one who is is profiled to get harm done to him, not the black woman. Don't 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 try to hold on to our struggle, the same struggle that you fucking abuse and exploit at any fucking moment. Do I need to explain that? 
you know that you're not racially profiled. When the police come, you can have no, you, I can have scratches all over my fucking face, ass bow wow. And you can be clear face like a motherfucker and I still go to jail. There is no racially profiling with a black girl. If there, as I said, if there's any racial profiling going on, it's to help you to fuck out at a job, at the apartment, at the welfare office, wherever the fuck you want. Don't don't piss the, don't don't make the black woman mad. Oh no, everyone is scared of a black woman. Not in the scared, not scared like let me grab my gun, but scared like don't I don't want to piss her off. You can, the reason why you felt like you can do that shit on that plane and that shit was okay is because who the fuck gonna say something to me? I'm a black woman. Anybody say something to me, I just cry foul. Whilst the black man has to work double hard uh, to get anything. Black bitch can be just, I'm just a black bitch. So I just get whatever. And for you black hoes that's outraged about this shit, you nothing ass bitches would have did the same shit. In a lot of cases, you hoes don't know who the fuck did 9-11. If I ask you bitches who did 9-11, you're going to say Osama Bin Laden. You have no fucking idea what the fuck is going on. And that's what I'm telling you niggas, man. If you do not start filtering out the trash, you're going to end up with roaches in your house. You understand? If you do not start putting up some type of filtering system to find out whether this bitch is a fucking liability or some uh, like or, or a what's what's the difference between a li liability? It's the opposite. What's the antonym for liability? Bitch, you either gonna help me, or you gonna hurt me. If you're stupid, you're gonna hurt me. If you have knowledge. But it's it's they they can fool you in all kind of ways because these college bitches bitches that they, they they have the same. I'm telling you, man, it's dangerous out here right now, man. It's dangerous. Um. But you you you're not sorry for this shit. Um. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be on. I can't say that. I don't want to say that because I, I I'm just not somebody who can wish bad on somebody. I just know what would happen if it was, but I said, I can't even say, because I can't say black man, I won't say what should happen to you. And really, I don't want your career to be over just because, um, I'm just not like that. Um, what I want to point out in this situation is why in the fuck do you stupid bitches believe everything? But I, you know what? What reason, here we go, what reason does a black bitch have to, this, why wouldn't a black bitch believe the government? You know what I'm saying? The reason why us as black men are so into conspiracy theories and, and we're, we're always trying to find out what the fuck is going on is because at every turn, we're getting fucked over. But when you look at them, nothing but benefits. They don't have to do nothing but fill out an application and it's on the way. All they have to do is fill out an application and it's on the way. It may take six months, but it's on the way. What application can you fill out, black man? Black man get $11 on his uh, fucking food stamps for the month. Where can you stay at for free, black man? So, this is what I'm saying. Why the fuck would she not believe the government when they said 9-11 was, the, the culprit of 9-11 was Osama Bin Laden, and we got him in 2010. You don't question any of that. So, I can't even, I can't even go into telling you about Osama Bin Laden never existed. He wasn't a real person. It's just a name. That you make up after you do some bullshit. You just need a fucking... It's 
straw man. You just need a fall guy. You just make a straw man argument. You don't know what was in the Twin Towers and what the Twin Towers were made of and what a controlled demolition looks like, what thermite is. And you wouldn't even take the time to find this shit out. The thing I was mostly offended about in this video was the fact that she would sit right next to the same race of people that were actually behind the cause of us being scared to get on planes and push off the people that they scapegoated. You'll sit right next to the devil and kick off Jesus Christ because the devil told you that that's that's who that's who that's the culprit, and because you you don't have any discernment, because oh you giving me shit so you must be good, you must be good, you good you give me everything I want. How long do you live? Uh, let me let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. We're ignorant, and I say it's high time that we no longer accept ignorance. The moment that we stop accepting um, dumb holes will be the moment that we can change the tide. But just as long as you are persuaded by pussy and seduced by sex, we will be on the path to having to destroy our young. That's the road that we're on at this very moment. Grown black men having to kill young black men. That's where we're at at this very moment. When, when 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 the young black man, when his mother was trained by the government and incentivized, sponsored by the government to be a terrorist, government-sponsored terrorist, righteousness and evil can't coexist. It's not going to work. And understand that they keep us away. You you know the laws. Man can't be here. They keep us away from our young until they're a certain age for a reason. So that when they come of age, they really have no connection to us. So they don't mind doing whatever they must to us. And if we're going to make any change, we're going to have to be on that same type time. Whilst The government's right hand just sits there and watch the melee. Confused as fuck. If we don't do something now, you better get, you know what I'm saying? You better come, you better develop a stronger stomach. Because there's going to be some shit that you finna see, my nigga. They're going to change you forever. Big Fast Podcast, make sure you hit the PayPal.